Annyeong, welcome back. This series is for practicing Korean test questions. Today's question is for beginning learners, so you can give it a try no matter how much or how little Korean you know. I have a recording sent in from a viewer along with two questions. First, take a few seconds to look over the questions. You can pause the video here. Let's listen to the example. Let's listen to it one more time. 정말 그렇게 생각하세요? 제 생각은 달라요. 이 학원이 소문도 더 좋고 가격도 저렴해요. 원래 공부는 혼자 하는 거니까 친구가 없는 학원이 더 괜찮을 것 같아요. 거리는 그 학원보다 조금 더 멀지만 이 학원에는 독서실도 있으니까 여기에서 공부하는 게더 좋을 것 같아요. Choose what you think the answers are. You can pause the video here if you need more time. The answer to the first question, what is the girl talking about, is Hagwan in Academy. The other choices were Chek, a book, Hakyo, school, and Chingu, a friend. First, the word Hagwan appears in this example several times, starting with this part. 이 학원이 소문도 더 좋고 가격도 저렴해요. This academy also has a better reputation and the price is inexpensive. 소문이 좋다 literally means the news is good and it can be used to say that something is being talked about in a positive way or that something has a good reputation. We can know that she's not talking about a book or school because the words check or hakyo don't appear in the example. And we can know that she's not talking about a friend because of this part. 친구가 없는 학원이 더 괜찮을 것 같아요. I think that an academy without friends is better. So in this part, she's expressing that she thinks it would be easier if she didn't have any friends at the academy, probably because it's easier to concentrate. I agree. The answer to the second question, what was not the reason that the girl gave, was 친구들이 많이 다닌다. A lot of friends attend. The other choices were 소문이 좋다, to have a good reputation, 저렴하다, to be inexpensive, and 독서실이 있다, to have a reading room. Each of those other choices were the reasons that the girl gave. Two of them, 소문이 좋다 and 저렴하다, we already explained, and 독서실 was mentioned in this part. 독서실도 있으니까, because there's also a reading room. If you missed this question, it might just be because you weren't familiar with these vocabulary words. So did you get them right? Do you have any questions? Let me know in the comments. And you can read the English translation for this example in the video description. I also want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me to make this video. And remember that new videos are uploaded here every week, so if you like what you see, click subscribe. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!